Finally, we have the most difficult one to pronounce, and I'm going to try and do it first time. It's the Thermal Grizzly Conductor North Liquid Metal Thermal Paste. Now, that was an extremely long sentence, and it's also a paste that is for serious overclockers. With a thermal conductivity rate of 73 watts per meter kelvin, it's easily the best on the market. This is technically several times better than the rest of the competition. If you're wondering, this does have a very tangible effect. Whilst it might not keep your CPU seven times cooler, it does lower the temperature by as much as 10 degrees Celsius, more than the rest of the pastes on this list. The metal-based thermal paste comes with all the tools needed for installation, and it's also worth noting that you need to thoroughly clean the CPU before you apply the paste to ensure the best performance along the way, and that you must not use it on aluminium heat sinks because this liquid metal thermal cooler can leave black stains on it. Hi and welcome to the Nocta YouTube channel. My name is Dan and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to apply an NTH2 thermal compound to all smaller size CPUs, such as Intel's LGA 1150, 1151, 1155 and 1156. If this is not your first time installing this heatsink or you're replacing a pre-existing cooler, then you should first ensure that any residue to thermal plates from previous installations have been cleaned from the CPU and the heatsink using the NACW1 wipes included in your NTH2 package. The application method that we recommend depends on the size of the CPU and the thermal compound that you're using. Please therefore ensure that you're following the correct video for your CPU and thermal compound type. When using the NTH2 on smaller size CPUs, first, apply a single dot of thermal compound with a diameter of three to four millimeters at the center. Thanks to the excellent spreading properties of the NTH2, there is no need to manually spread the compound before installing the cooler. Simply put on the heatsink and you're ready to go. It should be noted that adding too much thermal paste can lead to higher CPU temperatures, so be sure to aim for the optimal amounts described in this video. Drop it. 
Hey, today we're taking a quick look on the Tomal Grizzly Cryonaut Tomal Paste, which seems to be the best Tomal Paste on the market currently. First of all, a closer look on the applicator. You can screw the applicator directly on top of the syringe, and with a little bit of pressure, you can get the Tomal Paste directly at the end of the applicator, which makes it very easy to apply. And in the next step, I'm going to show you how it spreads on the surface of a Core i7-4770K CPU. I recommend to apply the thermal paste with a little bit of pressure, but very slow. This way it should be very easy to apply. A lot of people always argue about how to spread the thermal paste and which method to use. I prefer to spread the whole surface because then you can be sure that it covers actually the whole IHS of the CPU. So now I want to show you how the paste spreads under pressure. The glass simulates the CPU cooler and you can see if you apply pressure on the glass it actually spreads on the whole surface and there are no air bubbles so that's totally good to use. Now I want to show you how it looks if you apply only a dot in the middle. It will also work but the problem is with a dot in the middle that it will not cover the whole IHS so you might lose a little bit of temperature on your cooler. You can see applying the pressure with the, with the glass plate it spreads perfectly in the middle, also no air bubbles inside, but you can see the edges are not covered. 